Hi, you high campers. Well, the conservatory is still standing. We still have aquaprops and everything everywhere, but it's still standing. Um, the good news is no fish losses for over a week now. And they are feeding like crazy. They go mental. So that's looking good. Um, I have had probably the best sales week I've had since Skegness Pond Supplies opened. So that is absolutely fantastic. And nobody can burst my bubble at the moment. Not even you, Mr. Troll, who tried to tie up my phone lines this afternoon and was playing back my own videos to me and was using your shapeshifter voice app or whatever you use. Yeah, that's been used before when there was another blow up with another YouTuber. Yeah, I think we know who that is now. I have a very good memory. Uh, yeah, you've also been plaguing Gaz, Gaz's Koi Pond. I suppose you think you're clever, but it's just childish pranks at the end of the day. And people like you haven't got the cojones to face up to the issues that you have. Or sort them out with a nice chat and a cup of tea. The offer's always there. You know where to find me. Never want to turn down a nice cup of tea or a nice cup of coffee. I prefer a cup of coffee. I'm not really a fan of tea. It's a bit too British. And yeah, I'll still ask the little one if you can have a cupcake. You'll hear her running around. She'll probably say no, but I'll ask. There you go. So yeah, my bubble can't be burst at the minute, no matter how hard you try, no matter how big you think you are, how clever you think you are. Oh, and before you start ringing again, incident number 281 of today's date at Lincolnshire Police. Yeah, they're listening. And yes, we did get a phone number when you first started playing in Gaz. So you better hope it's a burner phone that isn't linked to anyone. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, um, yeah, unfortunately, due to another troll, I've had to put in another police report. One thing you've got to remember is when you start doing these things, you're in breach of your contracts of telecommunications devices. You're not allowed to use them for malicious intent. If you do use them for malicious intent, then you can have your line cut and be blacklisted. Think about that before you pick up the phone again. So, you're not affecting me. This is just a message to you that you can carry on. I'll answer the call, I'll leave it running for 10 or 15 minutes like I have before. I'll just sit there and let you run up your phone bill or use up your three minutes or whatever you're doing. It makes no difference to me because if I get another call, it comes up on the screen. So you're not actually blocking me from using my phone. What a surprise. Again, if you ring the office number, if you ring the Skegness Pond Supplies number, and you start silent calling my other half and start trying to intimidate her then we will have a problem we will have a very big problem so I suggest you desist from doing that now because if you want to have a pop at me come and do it when you start bringing my family into it as I've said before you draw a whole new line in the sand and it's a line you don't want to put your toes across, I can tell you. Simple. But anyway, best sales week ever. Fantastic. Lots of nice little orders. A couple of very nice large orders. It's all going in the right direction. Which is brilliant. Brilliant news. As I say, the pond is doing rather well. I'll put a couple of little video clips up of uh, the pond 
Um, this time, thankfully, no workmen about to tell me I can't do it. Woohoo! So yeah, I'll put a couple of video clips up of the, of the fish feeding. Um, as has been said to me by a few people, doesn't look like a pond with KHV. Not with them feeding like that. But the jury's still out. Um, whatever happens, I'm going to treat it as if it has. No fish out. No, the only time fish will come out of my pond is in a bag. So, anything went, that went in there to grow on and potentially sell on will not be coming out. It will not be sold on. It will not be moving to another pond. It will stay there for its, the rest of its natural. <clears throat> Unless I move and create another pond, in which case they will go into that pond for the rest of their natural. And that is the only way I can do it and the only way I can morally do it. Um, so there won't be any moving on from my main pond, that's for certain. And I won't be taking any fish off anybody um, from ponds outside of dealers, outside of koi farms. I'll grow on my own. I'll buy from reputable dealers. And I've now set up a full quarantine system that they'll go into for several months before they even think about going in a main pond. <clears throat> so it's a big wake up call. It's a big, big eye opener. I've always known the risk is there. I've always rolled the dice and this time the dice potentially haven't rolled in my favor. Sorry, little one's just coming in. She's in the paddling pool at this time of night. She's a proper little water baby. Um, go slowly, don't slip on this floor. Um, so that's that, really. That's that's all, all that's happened this week. It's just been a very busy week back from Denmark, catching up on orders that were closed then. Very busy week, doing some pond visits and sorting out some... Uh, some bits and pieces for people and uh, sorting out all the orders. Keep me nice and busy. Fantastic. So that's where I'm at. I hope you all have a very nice weekend. I'm going off to pick up a rather large fish tank. I'm going to set a bigger tank up for the little lad and then I'm nipping down to see Davy the Black Country Koi bloke. That'd be a nice afternoon. Have a bit of a waffle, rattle on a bit, talk coy. So, I hope you all have a brilliant weekend, and uh, I shall probably do a little bit of filming over the weekend, hopefully. And uh, we'll see what next week brings. Ciao, guys. Uh, feed number seven. This one wanted to feed the fish. Say hi, Riley. Hi, Riley. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, they're uh, having a little feed again. Baby's feed number six, I think. Good morning. They're all doing okay. They're getting some size on them now. Size comparison, three mil pellet. My little... Uh, Tancho Goski that I got the other day. But some of those in there, they're really packing on some size now. Some of the uh, some of the shags are like six, seven inches long now. So they're really, really going for it. They don't like being filmed. They're getting a little bit braver, but they're not uh, not that brave. Look at him. Cracking little shag. Little olive shag. But yeah, they're doing alright.